What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Rio. It's your girl Naya. And we're back again with another video today. And in today's video, as you can see by the thumbnail and title, what are we doing, babe? We are going to be pretty much answering questions. Uh, it's going to be a topic, and we're going to set our opinion on that topic. Basically. So, <clears throat> she put on her Instagram a little question thing. She put on her Instagram a little question thing, right? And some people sent her some questions. So we finna just express our opinion and, and how we feel about these questions. About these topics. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, first question. And by the way, you know what I'm saying? We got a little Chick-fil-A going on, you feel me? You, you see it. First off, before we get into the video, come on. You gotta go chicken sandwich, french fries. I got another little eight count in there, you feel me? Go crazy. She got the chicken sandwich with the fries. Her come with pepper jack cheese, mine got American on it. I don't f with pickles, f a pickle. But okay. they do it, you feel me? Yeah. All right, first question back. Future plans with the relationships in YouTube. Go first. So that's two questions in one. Mm-hmm. So future. Plans with our, with the relationship, our okay. relationship, and the future shape. plans with YouTube. Okay, so uh, with the relationship, uh, with the relationship, I'm thinking within the next year or two that we we planning on being under the same roof with each other. We plan on moving in with each other within the next year or two. Mm -hmm. But like as far as relationship though, like I don't see other than like uh, nobody else. That's, that sums it up. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the point. And then, like, are they asking about, like, a, like babies and shit like that? Like, marriage and, is that what they mean? Like, future relationship and relationship? Is good. But they saying, like, future plans, though. Yeah. Like, okay, this I'll just tell y'all my side. So, my uh -huh. future plans with the relationship is we moving together, boom. I want to get married first, and then I want to have kids. There you go. There that's, you go. That's, that's, that's my future plan. Okay. I see marriage. I don't see... I don't see why we... Like, you know, I don't see why we should just have a kid, then get married. Like, I see ourselves getting married, then have a kid. Yeah. And I don't see ourselves, like... I see ourselves in our relationship, enjoying one another, going traveling the world with one another, and then, you feel me, like, everything else come along. I ain't trying to rush anything. I ain't trying to, like, just jump into one thing. I'm trying to just let us be and live and let everything else come, if that makes sense. Yeah, like, we ain't planning on having no baby or nothing like that. Now, if it was to happen, it was to happen, but right. it's not like it was planned. You feel me? Like, that's just how I see my, my, like, that's just how I see the future of our relationship. And then the future of YouTube, I see us definitely, we definitely gonna get up there. Nah, for sure. Like, we definitely gonna get up there. I see us, like, doing a lot of giving back to, you know, y'all. Just a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. Just like, I mean, I know giveaways. Um, see that like just that's just when we get be like a meet and greet and stuff like that like we definitely want to get back to y'all because if it wasn't for y'all then we wouldn't be we yeah. wouldn't be right doing this doing this yeah so what she just said just basically smack the nail for me hit the nail on that up? on that question oh, you mm -hmm. so we're into the next question Next question. Going 50-50. That's the next question? Yeah, going 50-50. Bro, I totally believe in that shit, bro. I mean, obviously, um... Do we go 50-50? It depends on what it is. <laughs> but, like, important shit, though, like, bills and shit like that, hell yeah, I don't give a fuck. I ain't the only one living in this motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. Okay. You go I feel like 50-50 to a certain extent. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. That's my belief on 50-50. But let me say this though. 
Let me make one thing clear. Because everybody always talking about 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. You need to go 50, 50. You need to. First of all, in a relationship, you really don't go 50, 50. It's really 75, 25. You feel me? Like, it's never like. Sometimes, like. I ain't gonna say sometimes he do more than me or something. You feel me? But it's like that. Like, she, and she sometimes talking about, it's gonna be like 75, 25 or. And she talking about, she not talking about like how we act towards each other and like the love and shit like that and the affection that we yes. give each other. She talking about like, like when it comes materialistic, to materialistic things, things and like money and shit like that. That's what she talking about. She not yes. talking about affection and all that shit. But she the person. That shit is a, that shit is a, a hundred, a hundred. Every time, a hundred and ten for the yeah, should a person, you know, should a person, when it come down to love, yes, it's if you the 50. Yeah, I shouldn't just be the only one giving you, giving you love, and then you don't only, like, and I don't get it back, because, what? But I definitely believe in 50 50 in a relationship to a certain, like I said, to a certain extent. And that's why I said to a certain extent. Well, I believe in that shit to a full extent. But, I mean, if you got it, you got it, so we don't even matter. But shit's gonna get paid for. You don't, you don't always go 50 50. And you know that. Next question. Balancing time with friends and time with each other. I don't go nowhere with my friends, so. Let me say this. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> what? That I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. What? Like, our, the, our friends is. You got more friends than me. I got game friends. I don't go nowhere with them, though. Like, I don't. Like, we don't go nowhere. I play the game, but, like, that's it. You um, might go over there with someone with them here now. Dude. Our time is spent at work. And when we're not at work, we with each other. Doing this right now. Yeah. So it's like, we don't have no time to balance. <laughs> it's already balanced. I mean, in my opinion, it's already balanced. My close friend, she lived far away, so and she knows who she is. So it's not like, you now she lived in Nashville. <clears throat> I see her more, and we would do more, but I don't see her like. I don't, I don't see her like. I say maybe one time out of a few months, but let me talk on the phone. Mostly, but you know, we spend most of our time with each other, mm -hmm. and that's the reason why I don't spend time with my friends. If that makes sense, and then you just got other people that's just you feel me like they just living their own life. Like, not I ain't gonna say living their own life, but everybody got everybody got a level that they trying to reach. You feel me? And that's a good thing because I rather you. I feel like when you busy, you more productive. Like that's just me. That's just my opinion. What I feel like. But we, I feel like we balance out work and our relationship pretty good. We really do. I can say we do. Okay, next question. Should your friends and boyfriends be friends? Or should your girlfriend and your friends be friends? This question gonna be quick and easy. I don't have, let me say this. I don't have, I don't have a problem. As long as y'all, you feel me, not doing nothing crazy. But real, <laughs> how he is. He's not going for none of that. Like, he get the point of what I'm saying, but he just feel like it's the person. Like, I'm your boyfriend. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be mingling, or yeah, I shouldn't right. be talking. I'm to not, your I shouldn't friends. be in your friend's face at all. Which I get that. So like, Cause, I mean, that's good because some niggas would be in there. I'm in friend face. I'm not doing that. I'm not one of them. You ain't one of them. Yeah, no. No, you ain't one of them. Look though. Fuck. What I was gonna say was. How easy and quick this question was for me, goddamn. And I'm not saying this in no bad way. Like we see each other, we gonna speak, right? Mm -hmm. Vice versa. You see one of my niggas, you gonna speak. You gonna be like, "What's up?" Sometimes I don't even do that. But <laughs> in all reality, like she don't give a f about my homies, and I don't give a f about her friends, bro. Yeah. Like, and I'm not even saying that to be mean, cause like if her friends speak to me, I say what's up type shit. Or like if they on the phone and I come around. And she be like, I'm on the phone with such and such. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, what up, type shit. But other than that, like, I don't, I don't go out my way to check on her people. 
You know what I'm saying? She don't do that to me. Like, with my niggas. That shit dead. I don't think as in a relationship. Because I just feel like what we need to talk about. It ain't right. nothing for us to talk about. Now, it's different if you, like, doing something. You planning, like, a surprise or something like that. That's different. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's understandable. You trying to get shit arranged. To a certain extent. Like what, are you, what are you talking about? To a certain extent, you we're to doing a, a surprise. Extent? Some people would still try to like. That's fine if you're planning a surprise, but afterwards, like you feel me, like you should leave the group chat. You feel me? Like some people don't do that. That's what I. That's what I'm getting at. I'm not getting. Oh, I'm. Oh, I'm not even like, talking. Exactly. My bad, my bad. You just got a nigga up. Clean Sorry. up. Y'all just peep, bro. This is what this is what be happening right here. Y'all just peep. She do this shit all the time, and then <laughs> the conversation be about something else. And that's not what I was going to say. What I was saying was, it's okay if that's all it is. Like, that's the only messages between y'all is if y'all planning something out. Like, if I'm planning to take you somewhere and surprise you with people, I might text you know who. You better contact my girl. And you know what I'm saying? That's that's what I mean. But it ain't gonna it ain't gonna never be nothing like you keep the contact. Cause I, you a cold motherfucker. You know that. <laughs> Got it. That's what I'm saying. You finna get on my case. I'm like, what? <laughs> nah, cause ain't never, like, ain't you never just did that though. I'm like, what? Next question, nigga. Your mental health. Hey, boy. Okay, I feel like mental health is real. You never know what state of mind a person is in. You never know what a person going through. So I just feel like, take your mental health serious. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm real big on mental health. Like, if you need to, like, take some days away, lay low for you to figure out who you is, do that. You feel me? You need to go and, like, talk to somebody, go do that. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, go do that. Any, anything for you to be a better person or to be a better you, to help you, then I say, like, try figuring it out. For real. Like, don't just put it under the rug. Because another problem will lead to another problem because of that problem you feel me i just said mental health you just need to be if you got something going on just just go out there so please find help yes <laughs> seek help god damn man what you trying to say because i'm not trying to i'm not trying to like i ain't trying to like be funny or nothing that's not i know you're trying to be funny i know but i didn't you know but yeah my mental health how i'm doing i'm doing okay i'm doing good yeah it's like my mental health uh -huh. I'll be honest, or you know, a nigga be going through shit, but whatever higher power you believe in, I believe in God. So I always result in knowing that I'm gonna be alright. Even good. if I don't, even if I don't act like it, I know it's gonna be alright. So yeah, just stay I got a problem with thinking about shit stay, like too good. heavy and too too much. So I be having to tell myself like, bro, just chill, bro. You straight, you relax. But other than that. I'd be cool. So yeah, mental health is a serious thing though. Make sure y'all taking care of yourselves and doing what y'all need to do to keep yourself happy. Not doing it for the internet. The or internet doing or it for another motherfucker doing it. Yeah. yeah. Do what like, you want to do, cause. Do what you want to do. That's the only shit that's gonna make you feel like a person. And, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Do what you want to do. Oh, yeah. uh, this a good one. Um, finding yourself. How did you find yourself? Boom. Piggybacking off what we just talked about, bro. I feel like... Do what you want to do. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do this because they said you. You know what I'm saying? Because how they feel. How they feel. Do yeah. what you want to do, bro. That's how you... That's literally how you find yourself, bro. That or I feel like, too, like, isolating yourself. Like, me, you feel me? Like, I had, like, I had no friends. But once I found, like who the real ones was and none of them was real and it was just me like i feel like i got to find myself like that's how i really found myself because i was the type of motherfucker i'm so loyal you feel me i fight for other people not like not in like fighting wise or like just in general like i always had their back you get where i'm coming from so it's like once i like once i let them go and i just focused on me and it's always just been about me 
then I just that's really how I found myself that's how I really had like got a level head that's really how I was just like okay this is where I want to see myself this is you feel me like that's how I looked at it I just looked at it like I don't want to be like this type of person or I don't want to be like that female or I don't want to move like that that's just that's that was just how it was so I felt like finding myself was really getting rid of people that was just no good for me that was just it was just pointless pretty much that was just there to cause problems just put it like that yeah. we don't leave that long we don't want to go too too far in that so um how to uh, this is our last question how to maintain a healthy relationship Bruh, we get asked this question all the time. All the time. How are y'all still together? What do y'all do? What's the cheetah? Like, okay, so if uh, you knew, which we ain't done like an updated for all our new supporters and stuff like that. We ain't done like an updated life, life video, videos. Q and A video, whatever you want to call it. We ain't done an updated one for everybody, everybody that's new. So if you're new to the channel, me and Shania have been together for seven, seven years. plus, seven plus years, like Going. seven. Going on eight, eight in like, January. In, yeah, it's like close. Like in three more months. So it's like we got at, we we've been asked this question probably over a thousand times, bro. For real. It's crazy. How to maintain a health right? But literally all it is, bro. Communicate. Communicate like literally when people say that, bro, that shit is true, bro. Communicate Communicating and trust and trusting. Communicating and trusting. And then that's all you need. That's the foundation. Exactly. That's the foundation. Once Literally. you can do that, once you can can be around this person and know like if something happens, you know that that person, you know what I'm saying, is gonna be there mm -hmm. for you or is gonna defend you or just like be there in general. That's mm -hmm. all you need. That's all. That's the foundation to to build and keep going on and on from there because once you get that and you start building now you start learning who this person is you start yeah. learning like the the ways that they have and you know what i'm saying stuff like that and you start figuring out who they are and let me say this every relationship like one person is going to be different from the other i might have similar ways but every, nine times out of ten like it's something that he could bring to the table that I don't bring. It's something that I bring to the table that he don't bring. Yeah. That's how we balance out, if that makes sense. Like, just because a motherfucker ain't working in your favor, don't mean you gotta let them go right then and there. You feel me? Like, you gotta keep working, like, you gotta communicate. It's communicating and trust, that's all you need. For real, that's all you need. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. And of course, like, being respectful and stuff like that to one another. You know, like, but if you try to be in a relationship, that's mandatory anyway. So it's like, if you ain't trying to be in a relationship, you say what the fuck you want to say. You do what you want to do. Yeah, you like, do what you want to do. Yeah. If you in or like, if you trying to be in a relationship with this person, that's all you need. Like, that should be mandatory. The respect part should be mandatory. Yep. And things of that nature. But like you said, though, trust, communication, that shit gonna get you that's far. Foundation. That's yep. the foundation. That shit gonna get you far as fuck. So that's what you need to start with. And that concludes today's video. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And welcome to our channel. We really appreciate y'all. Welcome to the family. Bruh, we've been growing like slick fast, bro. And it's like, it's slowly all coming together. And I'm just grateful that y'all are giving us this opportunity. That shit is real. Because the nigga been wanting to do this type of shit for so long. It's insane, bro. So I'm just grateful to even be in this position to do what we're doing right now. To even like see the progress. Cause like imagine what we could be at in a month in a month. Two months. You know what I'm saying? Like you never know. Well imagine what we could be at in six months. Shit's crazy. You never know. So you never know, gangy. Exactly. So they just grateful. But yeah, that's gonna conclude today's video. Hope y'all enjoy it. It's when your boy Rio. It's your girl Naya. And we at this bitch. Me and my niggas, we bought it. We don't do no talking. I see it, I want, I bought it. Me and my car, I'm falling.